What is up guys, thank you for watching JG Tech Blog. For today's video, we have the Alcatel Link Zone. This is the newest LTE hotspot that just came out from Metro PCS. Let's go ahead and see what's in the box and then show you guys how to set it up and how good it is and if it's actually worth it and then compare it with the plans that they now have on Metro PCS to actually add on to your plan. All right, so let's go ahead and first of all, take out the product. There it is. So you have uh, the Alcatel Link Zone itself and then you have in this box, now the reason they have the SIM card with this is because they're actually going to treat this device as a phone. And so that's why you're going to be able to put in the SIM card in the back of it to add it to your account or do it separately. And we're going to be talking about how much that will cost. Then you have the instruction manual and it's very advised to actually look through this so you can install it because you might need an app to install this onto your phone and see your data plan. This is the cable that comes with it and then the adapter for the wall and then the battery. And by the way, this is very small. Just to give you a comparison, look at how big the battery is and how big this is. This is really small. This is actually, the manual is actually a little bit bigger than the device itself. So let's go ahead and go in the back. You have the SIM card slot. You have the micro SD slot. Let's go ahead and put in the, the battery and start it up. So looking at the device itself, uh, not only is it very small and tiny, which is actually pretty good, so you can put it into your bag, you put it into your pocket, wherever you're gonna go, this is gonna be a perfect fit for your day. Here you have the power button, and then over here you have the WPS, which stands for Wi-Fi Protected Setup. So this allows you an easy, accessible way to actually connect to your device easily without putting your passwords and so on. And then you have the micro USB slot right there, and nothing on the sides. And then you have the indicator, if your network indicator, your Wi-Fi indicator, if you're getting any SMS notifications in your battery. Let's go ahead and just press it for three seconds for it to turn on. It all turns blue. For example, your battery is low. This is gonna turn red. Your Wi-Fi is not connected um, or your network is not properly, like we have right now, we actually don't have a service on this yet. Uh, it's gonna probably show up red as you're gonna see right now. Give it a second to start. There you go, so it's red right now. But let's go ahead and show you guys the plans and then connect it to my phone and see how well it's gonna work. The plans that they have currently is if you add this device as a standalone device to your account, you're gonna have to pay $70. But if you add it to an account, then you have an option of adding it for $35, you get 10 gigabytes of LTE data. Um, the two gigs, if you want to top up, will be five. Four gigabytes top up will be 10. And the six gigabytes top up will be 15 on top of that 35 that you're paying monthly. This again is if you have it on your current plan uh, and not just a standalone device with a new account. The device itself now is going to go for $49.99. Then activate it. Uh, at any store. All right, so let's let's go ahead and show you guys the app. You can get this from anywhere. It's called the Wi-Fi Alcatel Link app. Once you look at that in the iOS or Android, you should be able to download it easily. If you want to scan it, you actually go to the guide. They should provide you, if I'm not mistaken, there it is, a paper like this. It should give you access to the app directly if you scan the QR code. Another way to actually access it, if you go through the web, you can go to this website, mobile.hotspot, or just put in your IP address, and then you should be able to access the data for the device itself. That will give you any information regarding the battery life. It should give you information of how much gigabytes you've used, what's left, uh, and who's connected. You can block people and all of that. So if you go into the app itself, it allows you remote control of the app, uh, you can easily manage your mobile Wi-Fi directly from a smartphone or tablet. Always up to date, so it lets you know how much you've used, how much you want to cut it off at, so want to disconnect it. If I have the, for example, uh, you know, I've added like four gigs for ten dollars. You can add that from here directly. Know when you're going to use it and disconnect it when you don't want to go over the limit. And then last but not least, if there's anybody connecting to your device and you don't want them to have access, you can automatically block them from here. So let's go ahead and start the app. So a couple things to know about the device that's good to know is if you want to reset it, hold down the power button right here for 10 seconds. If you want to factory reset the device itself to factory settings, no matter what you did, is you hold down the power and the WPS for 13 seconds. This will all turn blue, turn on and off, then you should be back to factory settings. If you want to do WPS and connect directly to your phone so what you're supposed to do is you're gonna hold the WPS for about three seconds let's hold it down so once you hold it this should blink and this is gonna be blinking for about two minutes so if you don't use it within two minutes it automatically logs you out all right so now last but not least I just want to say that 
in my personal opinion, uh, this is a great device for those that want a lot of internet and they're always on the go. To be honest with you, you actually get, I think it was 10 gigabytes already on your $60 plan if you have Metro PCS already. So why would you go ahead and get this device? The things that I could think about and why Metro is doing this is, for example, don't want to be using your phone for the hotspot. You want something else that's going to be just separate. You want to just completely use it for the hotspot usage. You don't want it to be dealt anything with your phone. It's a little bit more secure because that way they don't have any access to your data from your phone if you get hacked or anything like that. Another thing is that you're using hotspot a lot on your phone. That's probably sucking up your battery. You don't want to do that, then you can use this. And last but not least, you can connect to 15 devices all at once. The only issue with that, for example, if you're going to connect 15 devices, that's going to slow you down by a lot. And second of all, if you have 15 devices using this and you have only 10 gigabytes, I don't know how long that's going to last. That's probably a couple hours and you're just done right there. As you can see here, 10 gigabytes of LTE, that's going to give you about a download of 2000 songs, gives you seven hours of playing games and then watching your favorite movies up to 10 hours of SD video standard and three hours of HD video. So 10 gigabytes will only give you three high definition movies if you're trying to use this. So imagine if you have 15 devices, you're going to be out within an hour or less. It's going to be interesting to see how well this is going to do for Metro PCS and if they're going to keep it. By the way, one thing that I've had a lot of people ask was if this device is going to allow you to connect it to your PS3 so you can do gaming with it and whatnot. Yes, you will be able to do that. But the issue there is if you're going to connect it to a high intensity game that's going to need a lot of gigabytes, it's going to eat up a lot of data. I don't recommend this. I mean, you're going to be using up your 10 gigabytes really quickly. I mean, if worst case scenario, you can go back and you have the money to go and top up more and more. So that works fine if you're really thinking of doing that. But again, I really just would recommend this for those that are actually on the go a lot just to have a separate device for their hotspot. If you have any other questions that I missed and you want to know more about this device and you're thinking about getting it, please put it down in the comment section below. If you want to be updated when I get new devices or new products to Metro PCS, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when those are uploaded.